behaving itself. <laughs> Okay, so next up, this is all about the pinups of 2000 and beyond. And uh, keep your eyes on this Mercedes Benz AMG GTR. Hopefully, we can hear with a crowd. Oh, it's not bad. Stunning car, guys. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> Boys and their toys, love it every time. <laughs> Thank you, see you later. Now interestingly, that model holds the record for the Wait, fastest like production rear-wheel drive car at the Nürburgring race. Yeah, under seven minutes and 10 seconds. Very impressive. Now what do you think of this? The lovely Audi R8 V10. That's going to be a favourite with the crowd. Yeah, you know, these Audis, um, there have been so many different variations. If you think of the Audi range, you know, the RS4, the RS60, you know, it's such an extensive range, and for Audi to create some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this is a good old favourite of mine, and um, this is a McLaren 650S Coupe. Now, here's the you see, we've got two lovely ladies. Hello, girls, how are you doing? Who does this belong to? Are you enjoying driving it? This is one of our favourites. I was lucky enough to drive this around Silverstone about a month ago, and uh, I had a lot of fun. I recommend you, you ask him if you can take a trip up the M1. It was the first car I drove up a good with no time. Oh, which, really? Uh, I can tell you, we're petrified. <laughs> so here you've got your Maserati Stradale. Oh, we're going to have a little chat with the owner, I think. This is a rather unusual one. Uh, the spike of a C8 Navio Lens. Uh, owned, privately owned, and uh, look at the colour. I mean, just it's just quite different to anything else that we've seen today. It really is. Spiker itself was a brand. <laughs> Now, here we have a... Hello. 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 And that was only just a Koenigsegg Agera RS. Um, absolutely stunning hypercar from Koenigsegg. Christian Koenigsegg himself has been here at San Andreas many, many years with um, uh, many of his Koenigseggs. McLaren 605 LT just passing. I think we need to slow these guys down a bit, don't you, Nikki? This 
It's your Aston Martin back, which of course is, is your Vias Balante. Beautifully pronounced that. Do you have Oh. I'm enjoying the number plate on the next one. So we've got a, a Lamborghini Huracan Spider coming up. And now the owner, his name is Paul Huila. And the registration is F1 Hui. And he is disappearing. Someone Come stop back. Him. Thank you. Mr. Lamborghini Huracan Spider, please reverse. Sometimes you just can't give trophies away, Nicky, can you? <laughs> They're just very eager to drive and enjoy their cars. Again, the Lamborghini it's evolution. Um, I think it shocked many in the supercar world. When the Aventador came out, and of course following things like the Murcielago, the Gallardo, um, the Diablos, of course, yes. of, of previous year, that come out with the Aventador, it out of the park, they're incredible cars. Spectrum. <laughs> we have this lovely old 1989 Porsche 11 model in the Morgan range, the Aero 8, and uh, I think we've got Sean in the driving seat. Yeah. So this is your Bentley Continental GTC Super Sport. This, um, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. And this is, well it's a 66 plate, this is the latest, latest from Bentley, isn't it? Yeah, the very latest evolution of the GTC. Uh, colour is quartzite and we're So here we have the uh, Miserini, very brave drivers there, they are roughing it, they haven't even got an umbrella for protection, um, but they look like they're enjoying themselves. Now this is actually originally based on the Ferrari Tesla Rossa chassis. Are you having fun? Mm -hmm. I think so. I, I think it's good. Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Wait. So, guys, this is one runner-up in the Super Roaster. So, congratulations to you. Huge congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, Bitsarini is super, super rare. The previous models of this was something called a Bitsarini 5300 PT Strata. So, and look at the rear as it goes by. Massive, massive rear. That's the car I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's up next? Could this one go any slower? So, come on through, Mr. Ferrari. 458 Speciali, I've heard that. Now, this is also a rather special car. Nice delivery. Hello, guys. How are you? Eight. Um, this model actually came out after the Speciali itself. So you have the 458, the 458 Speciali, and then if you were very, very, very lucky and very fortunate, you actually got offered almost by Ferrari to buy one of these wonderful purchases. Uh, green with envy, but thank you very much. It's a beautiful car. See you later. What do you perceive to be on the special Ferrari list? To uh, have the I, opportunity, I mean, they obviously got to be able to support it, but once you can, how do you actually get on that list of, of your hand picks? Well, if I knew, I would have one. I'll ask around for you, I think. Yeah. 
Okay, and next up we have a car belonging to Ian Campbell. It is, of course, the incredible Porsche 911 911 GT3 RS. Come on. Come a bit closer. Get that engine revving. <laughs> What do you make of that? Oh, stunning. <laughs> and um, again, I'm a bit jealous of these, but uh, stunning Super Air RS, GT3 RS. I bet you have a lot of fun in this car. Oh, yeah. That says it all. Thanks. We'll see you later. I love how everyone that's arriving here is literally just grinning from ear to ear. They're having so much enjoyment. I hope everyone else watching is getting as much enjoyment Nine nine seven GT three with Ian Franklin potentially in the car. Ian, is that you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, next up we have the Carrera GT. Top speed no less than two hundred and eight miles an hour. Not bad, is it? Not bad. Um, now I believe only twelve hundred and seventy of these cars were made, and it was actually built to race at Le Mans, but unfortunately the rules changed. So they never have the opportunity to race. Hello guys, how are you? Uh, we're both, you? GT for Carrera GT, that is a very, very valuable number plate indeed. Hang on to that one for you. <laughs> right, now it's pretty difficult to get your hands on one of these. It is a 991 to GT3 owned by James Pope. Every time a car comes past, I think there's that's what I want. I want that one, but I keep changing my mind. What have you got your eye on? This one, okay. This is yours, but. Porsche RS 4 litre. Again, look at that wingtail. Absolutely stunning livery as well. That is a real super favourite of mine. Mark Frankel has just gone flying by in another RS 4 litre. As if they're 10 of 10. And, 
I know Mr. Shilton very well, the chairman of the Ferrari Owners Club, as Nicky said. Uh, Nigel, we have uh, the club here today celebrating 50 years. What's it been like? It's an amazing year for you. Ferrari celebrating 70 years, and you and your members celebrating 50 years. Yeah, we've done some amazing events, and it is a very special year. I've been in the club too many years, so I've just a massive applause for you guys because I'm getting wet but so are you guys and you know it's not every day is it you see a collection like this so it's well worth it. I said it last year, I'm going to say it again. Next year I promise you sunshine. You have my word, okay? We're going to hold you to that, okay? <laughs> but amazing to see those F40s. So to think that some of them, you know, they're selling for millions and millions of pounds and to have them all in here is uh, very, very special. Now. On to Class B, which is, of course, the hypercars, probably one of the most popular categories. So first up, we have the Bugatti Chiron, and I'm going to have a quick chat to Katie, who's in the passenger seat. Hello, how are you doing? Tell us about your absolutely amazing car. Hi, Nikki, I'm good. Um, we're having a great time. Um, enjoying seeing everyone's reactions to the car. What, what are the best reactions been to your car? Um, and just showing it off, it's and been uh, wonderful to see. You've spoken to Katie, I'll have a chat with Sir Lee, right, shall then. I? Double up. Just under 1,500 brake horsepower, get this, 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds. You are literally sitting on a rocket. And here we have Mr. Tom Hartley. He's got, he's got a good story, Nikki. Should we let him tell a story? Well, if it's bad, we're just going to cut you off. So make it good, all right? It's better to get Tom in the mic. Okay, Andrew, ladies and gentlemen, this is a true story. I came to Mr. Bagley 40 minutes ago, and he said we never had a car in the parade. I got the guy down who owns this car, bought it off him, changed seats, put my place on it, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> and knowing Tom Hartley, that is the truth. Tom, That's I mean, you know, what a way to celebrate Ferrari's 70th year. You know, this is just such a stunning model, and it epitomizes everything about Ferrari. Still elegant, brake horsepower, and just pure and utter vitesse. Stunning car. Thank you so much for everything you do for us as well. Thanks, Tom. We'll see you later. Enjoy. I absolutely love my car. One of the first. And again, yet another one. Ah, we've got an Italian presenting an Italian award to an Italian driver. What I think we're going to do here, I'm going to pinch your microphone, Nikki, and we're going to have an Italian conversation going on. Five cars currently made. Did I hear right that you might be making a roadster version of this? Maybe next year. So now we, we've finished and built all the five crew, and maybe next year, maybe. We don't know. And all the five are sold? Yes, all five are sold. This is the very, very first one because this is show in Geneva this year. And it's all in the second event of this car and beautiful price. So our clients, I think we are happy. So they are happy. Yeah. Yeah. And do you mind sharing with us how much does it look at that? That I is stunning. Ital design, zero uno. Okay, so next up we have the McLaren 720S. Driven by none other than Tom Exton. Hello. All you're doing is saying hello. How's it going, Tom? Good afternoon. How much do you love your new car? Uh, a lot. A lot. How long have you had it for? How many miles have you done? I've had it for five weeks and I've done about 500 miles, so poor effort from me. Actually, that's quite a lot more than some of the other cars that we've seen today, so it's not bad. But you've got a pretty uh, nice race of cars at home. What else do you drive? At the moment, actually, uh, just well, just a Land Rover Defender and a Mini, so <laughs> letting the side down a little bit. <laughs> well, what's next on the shopping list? Uh, Events of the Rest comes in a few weeks, apparently. So I've been told. I don't know. I believe when I see it. Great. 
crime. Not crime, no, great. Yeah, we don't do crime. <laughs> Yeah, well, exactly. Absolutely not. Not a chrome wrap, no. Give it a few months. Give it yeah, a few months. We'll so, Tom, thank you very much for coming down. And uh, we will catch up with you later. Thanks, Tom. That's not bad, is it? You know, 720 years, five weeks ago. And, and then an adventure door rest turns up. And he's still like, got a ring about S, I think. And he's got a nice number plate on there as well. TGE, which uh, is the name of his, uh, well, Instagram slash YouTube. Right, okay, well we've got a rough special looking car here. Uh, this is the McLaren T1, but it has been wrapped. Obviously uh, inspired by the Golf livery, and this is originally the kind of uh, burnt orange colour, um, but it has been wrapped to look like this, and it looks absolutely stunning. We love the detailing of this wrap. Thanks so much, Steve.